Each culture has its own ceremonies and customs, particularly with regards to food. While a few nourishments are viewed as indulgences in their local grounds, they're quite odd to untouchables. For example, one Southeast Asian nation eats singed tarantulas, while a Nordic country devours spoiled shark. Additionally, you'll have a hard time believing what a few eateries in the Midwest are serving. Today, we give you the list of the 10 most daring delicacies in the world. Number 10. Century Egg China The century egg is a Chinese delicacy made by relieving a duck, chicken, or quail egg in a combination of earth, debris, salt, quicklime, and rice bodies for a long time to numerous months. Through the cycle, the yolks turn a dull green, or dim tone, and the whites become a dim, earthy color. The egg takes on a sulfuric or alkali-like taste and smell. And however that may appear to be totally unappetizing to Westerners, the century egg is a typical dish in China. Likely, this strategy for planning emerged from the need to protect food before the hour of refrigeration. Number 9. Fugu Japan Pufferfish fugu is a Japanese planning of the toxic pufferfish of a similar name. It is incredibly toxic to eat without being appropriately arranged. And culinary specialists go through years as a student before they are given a permit to serve this perilous dish. Fugu is filled in as sashimi and chirinabe. And, however individuals discover the liver to be the most scrumptious part, it is additionally the deadliest and was prohibited from administration of Japanese cafes in 1984. The fugu in Japanese, bogoeo, or bok in Korean, and hetun in standard modern Chinese, is a pufferfish. Ordinarily of the sort taiki fugu, lagocephalus, or sofo erodes, or a porcupine fish of the family diodon, or a dish arranged from these fishes. Number 8. Pavlova, Australia Guests to Australia, no uncertainty, expect bunches of shrimps on the barbie. It may be a kangaroo steak. You shouldn't something be said about something to chill off following a hot day? Beat the warmth with a cut of pavlova, a rich meringue pie with a firm outside and finished off with any assortment of new fruit. The story goes that Australian culinary expert Herbert Sash was roused by Russian ballet performer Anna Pavlov's visit down under during the 1920s and endeavored to make a sweet as light as the notable artist. There's another side to the story, through neighboring New Zealand additionally asserts the dish as their own. Number 7. Kapenta, Zimbabwe Kapenta are small freshwater sardines, initially local to southern Africa's monstrous lake Tanganyika, however later brought into different lakes in the district. Regardless of averaging only 10 centimeters in length, Kapenta are shockingly wealthy in protein and iron, and are a significant dietary staple for lakeside districts in Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Mozambique. Ordinarily, Kapenta are gotten around evening time. At that point, sun dried the following day. Dried fish are brilliantly flexible, and can be utilized in quite a few settings. From a fundamental stew to the sweet curry sauce, Zimbabweans living near Lake Kariba additionally appreciate new Kapenta skilled burned and presented with sadza, a maize porridge. Gather up some sadza to plunge or overflow with the fish and sauce and get ready to get a little muddled. Local people don't utilize utensils for this dish. Number 6. Truffles. France and Italy. On the off chance the smell of decaying shark doesn't make your mouth water, head south for an acclaimed treat with a vastly different standing. By weight, the European white truffle is one of the world's most costly treats. They can sell for as much as $3,600 a pound. That precarious sticker price is because of the trouble of finding and gathering the little treats. Truffles develop underground, close to the foundations of trees, and rangers regularly need to utilize uncommonly prepared canines to track them down. The product of underground developing organisms, truffles by and large aren't eaten all alone, yet are a rich, fragrant expansion to quite a few dishes, including pasta, eggs, sauces, and even mixed drinks. Obviously, truffle dishes can be discovered around the world. However, voyagers in southern Europe opt to make certain to test a couple of directly from the source. Number 5. Hakarl Iceland An Icelandic delicacy initially prepared by the Vikings, indeed, even VIP culinary specialist Anthony Bourdain, no outsider to surprising flavors, depicted Hakarl gruffly as the single most noticeably awful thing I've ever placed in my mouth. The Vikings found an abundant stock of Greenlandic shark in the waters around Iceland, yet before long found that poisons in the shark meat made it toxic to devour. Their answer was to decapitate the shark, at that point cover the body underground for 6 to 12 weeks to permit fluids to leak out and the decaying meat to mature. After the maturation cycle is finished, the shark meat is cut into long strips and hung up to dry for a few extra months. Number 4. 
Carne asada with chimchurri. Flame broiled meat is a staple the world over, yet Argentines invest heavily in their state conventions. Their outside cooking style, known as asado, has a rich legacy and thorough standards to follow. Done appropriately, asado is a throughout the day cycle, where each cut of meat gets a long of time to gradually boil. Argentines, for the most part, favor their steaks medium to all around done. While the steaks are barbecuing, Argentine gourmet experts have the opportunity to prepare some chimchurri, the nation's go-to fixing, a tart uncooked sauce conspicuously highlighting parsley, garlic, oregano, and red pepper. Chimchurri supplements almost any course, however, especially sparkles with carne asada. Number 3. Smalahove, Norway. Steaks can be found almost all over the place. However, courageous carnivores ought to consider an outing to Norway to find a generous plate of smalahove. In a real dance deciphered as sheep's head, smalahove is indeed a large portion of a sheep's head, split down the center with a hatchet normally, that has been burnt, dried, smoked, and bubbled. At that point presented with potatoes, rutabags, cream, and margarine, the cerebrum and different organs are taken out, except for the tongue, eye, and ear, which are for the most part thought about the best pieces. The good dinner is a Norwegian occasion convention and is regularly devoured the last Sunday before Christmas. Number 2. Pozole, Mexico. Mexican food keeps on being perhaps the most mainstream decisions in the US, so an excursion to Mexico may appear as though an opportunity to twofold down on notable top picks, like enchiladas or quesadillas. Go searching for credible Mexican dinners. Be that as it may, and you can conceivably locate a steaming bowl of pozole, a soup with centrality going back to the Aztecs. Pozole starts with hominy, a kind of dried maize, and meat, normally pork. Incorporates as an assortment of mouth-watering flavors, and is finished off with new fixings like lime and radish. Generally, pre-victory Aztecs may have utilized newly relinquished human substance in their pozole, in lieu of pork. Yet there's no compelling reason to stress over that nowadays. Number 1. Kopi Luwak, Indonesia. Can't confront the day without espresso? Guests to Indonesia can enjoy their caffeine wanting with a hot cup of Kopi Luwak, the costliest espresso on the planet. Wild palm civet felines, otherwise called Luwaks, eat the fruity substance of espresso berries. However, don't process the seeds. The civet droppings are gathered by neighborhood ranchers to be washed, cooked, and prepared as espresso. Why would that be feline crap espresso so uncommon? One hypothesis holds that civets eat simply the best cherries, making a characteristic choice for quality. Others accept that an aging cycle happens in Luwak stomach-related parcels, which diminishes harness and improves the normal flavor. However, not every person concurs. Tim Carmen, a food pundit for the Washington Post, attempted Kopi Luwak a couple of years back and guaranteed that it tasted much the same as Folgers. A delicacy is normally an uncommon or costly food thing that is considered exceptionally attractive modern or particularly unmistakable, inside a given culture. Independent of neighborhood inclinations, such a mark is commonly inescapable all through a locale. Delights change per various nations, customs, and ages. The soundness of the general public is to save food, on the off chance that the nation or the entire world made significant issues in the part of eating. For example, the food emergency that loaded up with brutality and insatiable for food between the nations. In a word, there is no uncertainty that the food lack will deliver various types of social, public, and worldwide issues. That is it for today's video. Which of these daring delicacies you won't mind trying? Hmm, comment it down below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos alike. Click the bell button so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload in the channel. You may check our previous videos as well. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.